Good morning, dear students. In today's class, we are going to study a new topic that is a joint Hindu family business. Joint Hindu family business. So you can just by the word you can understand that it is a kind of a family business. Okay. So this is a kind of business only available or only prevailing in India. And now this type of businesses are not there. Earlier it was there many. And now the this type of businesses are now getting over almost. But still there are few businesses are there. So this is a, it is run by the joined Hindu family. Okay. So here you know that the word given there joined Hindu family. So when uh, we study, we know that there are some families are there which is uh, what is uh, joint family you are familiar with. You know? So joint family means that uh, all the members or uh, uh, all uh, members of the family is uh, living together. Uh, like if uh, one uh, grandfather and uh, grandmother will be there and uh, their three or four children are there and uh, their wife and their children, all of them will be living together in one family. So earlier we know that uh, all the families were uh, uh, joint families. Now uh, because of the circumstances people started living in uh, uh, nuclear families, small small families. But uh, still some families are uh, living together and uh, they continue, they start a kind of a business. So such kind of businesses are known as the uh, joint Hindu family business. And uh, this uh, joint Hindu family business uh, is uh, running based on the uh, uh, the Hindu Family Act. Okay, there is a particular act for that, and uh, based on that, this will be uh, continuing. And uh, he is in this business, uh, the ancestral property of the uh, like if a grandfather, so that uh, we are having some, we are getting some property from our uh, parents, isn't it? No? So, like if you, if your grandfather is having some property those property and uh, if your grandfather is having three children so that uh, property will be divided into three equal parts and uh, all the three children will be getting the uh, a portion of that so instead of uh, dividing the property and giving to them they what they use is that they you commonly use this property for starting up a business so such a way the joint hindu family business come into existence okay so they have a ancestral property Okay, that means the property which they are having of uh, their own, uh, uh, means that it is from generation to generation which is passed over. So such type of uh, uh, property is used for the purpose of uh, starting up this business. Okay, and uh, the uh, manager or the main member of this uh, uh, business is called as the karta. Okay, so the one who is uh, karta is the main member of this or main uh, part of the organization or we can say the general manager okay the main manager of this business is called as the karta so karta will be the eldest member of the family okay so like if in our family if there is a grandfather then grandfather will be the eldest member and he will become the karta or the main uh, of the business so he, he the business will be controlled by this person and if the person dies then uh, that business will be handed over to the next member means that there are if the grandfather is having three children so see for example there is a uh, one that uh, grandfather is there and uh, and uh, he is having three children like a b and uh, c so if the grandfather dies then uh, this first member will be, uh, take up the um, duty of uh, controlling the business so if eldest member and if he dies then uh, next member will take up the responsibility and if he also dies then uh, another next member will be taken and uh, if this person also dies then uh, there will be their own children will be there you know so to th their children will be there so one among them will take up the uh, responsibility of uh, uh, handling the business so what happens is that this business is not going to get over okay so this business will continue forever there is no any kind of issues of uh, stopping of this business once if it is started then uh, it can continue and if the members wishes to stop then they can stop it okay so such a way this will be continuing okay and there are two types of businesses are there two types of uh, uh, divisions are there so the joint hindu family has got two types of uh, uh, divisions so we can say that there are two types of businesses and uh, 
they are known as the first one is called as the daya bhaga and the second one is called as the midakshara okay so daya bhaga means that this is a kind of business where the uh, members and it is mostly found in west bengal side okay so this uh, in this part of the business the um, like uh, uh, the male member as well as the female members can become the partners okay and the partners of the business or like if there are all the members in this uh, business can be considered or called as the um, <clears throat> all the members of this business uh, other than means one the leader will be there he will be called as karta and other members are known as the co partners okay co partners so these members will be uh, there so all the members can become the members like a female members as well as the male member all will be uh, part of this business all can join the business so that is called the daya bhaga type of business and another type of business is called the mitakshara and in this type of business and this business is prevailing all other parts of india other than west bengal so west bengal side the daya bhaga system is followed and the other part of india all other part of india the midakshara system is followed and in this system only the male members will become the co-partners or the members of the business okay so male members only the uh, gents or boys or will become the members of the business okay and another speciality of this business is that uh, this uh, membership of this business is uh, by birth so any member even uh, just a newborn baby yesterday if a baby is born then that baby will become the <clears throat> member of this business okay so there is no any uh, question of uh, like uh, writing application and uh, getting uh, permission all these things are not required if you are born in this family you will become a member of this business whether you are interested or not interested but uh, you will be a part of this business and if you don't want to continue in this business then uh, you can uh, uh, go out or get, out, get rid of this one but uh, the business will continue all the members will become the uh, part of this one so that is about the joint hindu family business okay and now let us discuss the features so the first thing that we have to study is the features of this and uh, in features the first one is called as the formation okay so formation of this business there are two things required there should be minimum two members okay two members one will be called as the karta and another member will be called as the co partner okay so there should be minimum two members okay so any number of members can be there but uh, all will be belonging to one same family okay so the uh, condition of this one is that only one family uh, or uh, one hindu undivided family it is not necessary that uh, it should be belonging to hindu uh, or, or hindu solely can start it doesn't mean man like that but uh, this is one undivided family should be there okay so uh, mostly it is uh, run by uh, hindus that is why it is uh, given like that okay so but uh, this type of business can be used there for uh, anyone but normally the members of this one joint hindu families are running this business so there should be uh, two members belonging to the same family and they should have uh, an ancestral property okay so they have they should have some property with them okay some uh, assets should be there so the money that they are or uh, using uh, is the uh, property of their own family okay family property okay not a uh, one personal property or a we are uh, anything like that so but the ancestral property which means that our grandfather had this one and uh, that is received to our fathers and uh, to us then to our children so the property which uh, hands over to the generation to generation that is called the ancestral property so such type of property should be there for uh, starting this business okay so these two conditions are there then uh, we can start the business there are no much formalities in any kind of registration or membership anything is not required because the membership is uh, by birth okay so if you are born in this family you will become a, a member of this uh, business so the, the so there is no any application uh, to be written for joining this uh, business or anything is not there so if you are born in this family you are also part of this business and uh, it will be continued so such a way this uh, business will be going on okay 
Then next one is called as the liability. So the regarding the liability, the karta, the main member has got unlimited liability, but uh, other members has got limited liability. Limited liability to the extent of the ancestral property that they are having. Okay. So see for example, if they have total asset of uh, total property of the family is a uh, ten crore, or uh, maybe uh, see like a uh, five crore. Okay. Total. Assets of uh, 5 crore rupees is there for them. Okay. And uh, one, uh, uh, if the one member, main member will be there, one uh, uh, grandfather and uh, uh, four children are there A, B, C, and uh, D. So we can say if you uh, divide this uh, property, 5 crore rupees is there, then uh, 1 crore rupees for grandfather and uh, 1 crore rupees each for each member. Is it not? So the liability of uh, A is uh, limited to 1 crore rupees. Do you understand? Means that if a loss is taken, then means maximum they will lose this 5 crore rupees. Okay. So 5 crore rupees is lost means that there are 5 members are there. So my share is how much will be my share that much will be lost. That is the maximum loss that we have to face. So the limited uh, liability is there for the members. But whereas the grandfather or the karta has got the unlimited liability. If, if the total asset of this company is 5 crore rupees and they started with 5 crore rupees. But if they have a 7 crore rupees of loss. Okay. Their total loss is of 7 crore rupees. What happens? This one member will lose 1 crore, 1 crore, 1 crore, 1 crore. 4 crore rupees will be lost by the co partners But the grandfather has to take up the total loss 3 crore rupees remaining loss like 7 crore rupees is the total loss so all the members took took, uh, took 1 crore each and uh, the remaining all the entire money has to be taken by the grandfather so grandfather or the karta has to bring money for that so it doesn't mean that uh, only the ancestral property will be used uh, that his own personal property will be there or whatever may be the assets required or uh, anything can be captured Okay, so all the personal property can be used of the uh, karta. Okay, so the karta has got unlimited liability and uh, other members has got limited liability. Limited liability to the extent of their shares. Okay, so how much share they are supposed to receive? That much they have. That much is the maximum loss that they have to face. Okay, and regarding control. Okay, so the control, the next point is of a, next feature is that control. So there is a better control. Okay, so better control we can say that uh, uh, when you say like if in a family controlled by the uh, like if uh, if the if you are a joint Hindu family or if a joint family is there and if whatever the words that uh, your grandfather is telling everyone will be following. So here the main control is taken by the grandfather and all other members are of the same family. So they will obey the uh, words of the grandfather. So there is a better control and uh, for making decisions or decision making power is with the grandfather only one person is there or the karta one who is the eldest member he will be doing the uh, entire activities or entire con control so the decision making power is uh, very much uh, fast okay decision making can be done very fast there is no need of uh, uh, discussing or asking permission or uh, granting all these things are not required any meeting or anything is not required uh, karta can make a decision and if the decision is right or wrong our other members will be accepting that okay so that is the control and continuity means that the business will continue even after the death of the uh, eldest member the karta if the, if the, even if the eldest member dies then the next eldest member will become the karta so the once the karta dies then uh, the one who is the next eldest member he will become the uh, karta so the business will continue forever there is but uh, if the members wants to stop then they can stop at any time but uh, otherwise if the members are not willing to stop then the business will continue and uh, minor members one of the most important feature of this business uh, this type of business is called as the uh, permission of the minor members to join okay so in only in this type of business the minor members can become a member of a business so because the membership is uh, by birth so a newborn baby he does uh, he or she does not know uh, he is a uh, which family he is belonging to that also he does not know but also 
just by one day if uh, the baby is born just one day before then also he or she will become a member of this business okay so uh, there is no any age limit any minor member can become the uh, member of this so these are the features of this uh, uh, joint hindu family business next what we have to study is about the merits so merits are almost similar to the features but a slight difference also is there so you should uh, understand so some points are uh, matching like uh, continuity we have uh, control we have studied continuity is there liability is there but a slight difference also is there so you should uh, uh, understand that and uh, study so the first uh, uh, feature of that effective control okay so effective control is uh, are similarly like the features as i told you when the business is run by the uh, karta so he is the eldest member and the other members are ready to listen to the words of the uh, eldest member so uh, he will be uh, having effective control he can continue control the business in a effective manner then continued business existence the business will continue forever so this also all uh, more similar to the features if the uh, member of eldest member or the karta dies or anything happens to the eldest member the next eldest member can become the karta and the business will continue forever so there is no any problem regarding the continuity business can continue for a long duration the next one limited liability of the members so the members of all the members have a, a limited uh, liability okay so it is uh, only the loss or the maximum loss that the members have to face is the uh, only the share of the ancestral property that they are have, uh, they are supposed to get so maximum loss that they can face is that much okay that is about the limited liability of the members the next one increased loyalty and the cooperation so all the members are the belonging all the part all the partners are belonging to one same family so they will they know that this is the uh, like uh, means the our own family business and uh, they have to keep up the standard of their family and uh, they work together they know that if they if anything is done then it is for their family itself is you know so like if you have to work for the family then we are ready to work and if you want to spend some money for our family like if uh, we are getting some money salary and all then we are sen uh, sending our money to our parents and uh, uh, grandparents brother sisters so all of us are all of uh, the members are uh, our own brother sisters and uh, our own family members so we will be ready to cooperate each other and we will be so uh, working with a more dedication so the success of the business will be the success of the family itself so then uh, uh the name and fame of the family also will be there uh, that uh, can be uh, raised is it so like when there is a uh, uh like the name of the family will be held high when the business becomes successful so the and every members will be working hard for the success of the business so there can be better loyalty and uh, cooperation so these are the merits of this one or we can say the advantages of the uh joint hindu family business next we have to study there are some limitations also some disadvantages also this business has got some limited actions uh, first one is the limited resources okay so the resources are limited to the ancestral property or the property of the members okay so the family property is the only property that they can use as the resource okay so there may if there is no ancestral property then they cannot start a business if there is no family property they cannot start a business and uh, there is no much possibility of uh, getting loans or uh, any other or uh, inviting shares or any kind of uh, uh, provisions are not there okay so like uh, any another financial supports are not there and we cannot uh, like uh, take membership of uh, other members also so all the members should be belonging to the same family other members cannot become members and other members cannot invest money into this business because there is no any need of they may be like borrowing money in the name of anybody for any other uh, additional uh, emergency purposes but uh, there is no investment that uh, may not be made by other members so because they it is like why should i invest money into the business of other family's business is it so that is what the feeling of others will be there so they may not be a support or the resources that they can bring up is uh, very much limited the next one unlimited liability of the karta so 
even though the members are having one advantage we have studied that the limited liability of members but there is a disadvantage also that the uh, member main member has got unlimited liability okay so the main member the all the member may be there and uh, he has to bear the entire burden so he has to face the uh, full loss so there is a big loss for the uh, main member if they face a huge loss okay and he has to sell all the property and so uh, the eldest member has to face the entire uh, problem so he, the risk highest risk is held by the uh, karta the next one is called the dominance of karta so there is another issue called as the dominance of karta dominance means that like a, uh, if the members of the family will be there the eldest member will be there so that person may not be that much updated like your grandfather will be there so the grandfather's uh, knowledge may be limited so grandfather uh, may have some ideas but the ideas that they, he is having is of the old age is you know so at the time that he has studied so he may have better knowledge than us but uh, he has got better experience better knowledge will be there but uh, the um, the skills of the abilities of the person may be limited okay so your uh, um, father or the next generation of the like a grandfather will be there but uh, uh, his uh, next members or uh, younger generations they may have better idea but uh, this uh, grandfather may not be permitting that so like if uh, we are suggesting that we can do this business in this way okay we we will start the online marketing we will do like a home delivery system or we will do a website we will do with the help of uh, uh, like computerized uh, uh, billing but uh, the grandfather may not say that though these things are not there uh, for we have started this business 100 years before and we are continuing for this one and this business will continue like that you know so means like and, uh, some kind of a stubborn kind of mentality will be there of this uh, uh, eldest member and uh, he may not be ready to accept the changes or latest technologies and all will be there so he may not be ready to accept these kinds of changes so then uh, he will be dominating and his decisions are the uh, most important decisions so there may be chance that there may be some conflicts between the eldest members and the youngest members so the youngest members may be telling that we need to use uh, updated technology we need to use uh, better uh, methods of uh, production and uh, we need to uh, update the business but uh, the uh, eldest members may not be ready to accept that they will say that this type this is new fashion or uh, this one it is not necessary to be used in our business we are continuing in this is our traditional business so we will continue in the same way so that kind of uh, problems may be there so they may not be ready to change so then uh, the uh, decisions of the uh, eldest members may be only followed and uh, the younger members may not be willing to cooperate with those members so there may be kind of a fight between the uh, members and this fight may even lead to the break up of the family so they all of them are living like a joint hindu family uh, joint family but uh, because of the business case they are, they may divide in their family also so not only they uh, get the uh, they stop the business but they may go out of the family also because of the fight between um, the members on the on the basis of the business okay then uh, the next one is that limited managerial skills the efficiency of the manager or the manager is the uh, eldest member and uh, he, he may not have much idea latest technology latest method and all will not be there so he will have limited ideas and uh, it is not possible that we invite a manager or uh, bring a manager appoint a manager from outside also is not possible so the managerial skills are very much uh, limited so he will not be able to run the business in a very successful manner so these are the limitations of the joint hindu family business so we have uh, also then uh, just to look at the uh, pitch uh, this uh, board itself you can understand that what is the joint hindu family business so we studied about what is joint hindu family business we studied the features merits and the limitations okay so you can uh, study these things uh, in detail so this is a uh, only business that is found in india uh, sorry this is a type of business that is found only in, uh, in india so in this type of businesses are not there in uh, any other countries okay so we need to know now it is not there much but uh, we need to know about this type of uh, business okay thank you so much